Hello everyone. The purpose of this video is to show you how to use the surge time system to request leave, like sick leave or personal leave, and also how to record your time uh, every two weeks when payroll is to be turned in. So you'll need to be logged in to My C State, and on the C State Today page, on the Tools module, you will see surge time. So you just need to click on the link for surge time. It will log you in automatically because you're already logged into My C State and take you to the timesheet page. In order to request new leave, click on the link for new leave request. Choose the type of leave from the leave type drop down. This is a required field. In this case, I'm going to request some sick leave. Enter the number of hours you will be using. AAUP must use sick time in increments of four hours. I actually am going to need two days, so I'm going to type in 16 hours. My start date, when you click in the start date field, opens up the current month's calendar. My leave time is going to start on April 12th. I'm going to enter April 12th. The end date is not a required field, uh, but in this case, my end date is actually going to be the end of the day on the 13th. Uh, you could use the 16th, which will be the following Monday. I always use the day that the time is going to end, so I'm going to enter the 13th. So that is going to be two full days. You don't have to type a comment, but I will usually type two full days of sick leave, just to confirm, verify, make it clear. And then you need to check yes, submit for approval now, and then you'll click on the save button to submit this leave time. You'll notice your leave balances will be listed here. AUP will not have any vacation, but you will see your sick and your personal leave listed in number of hours available. When you're finished, again, click Save. It'll then come back and it will say Pending because then your supervisor will have to approve this before it actually will be registered with your time when you go to turn in your time for that particular pay period. If you ever want to check the history of the leave that you've requested or used, you can click on Leave Summary. Any college-wide leave events that have been planned will be listed here. So in this case, for Memorial Day, May 28th, and Independence Day on July 4th of 2018. The link here for leave history will show you your requested leave, approved leave uh, from the past, all those that are complete, again, college-wide events, or if you've actually used sick or personal leave, and then any leave that's pending, such as the one I just filled in today. You can also come over here and filter by year. You can filter by type of leave, again, probably either sick or personal for the most part. And then you can also filter by whether it's approved, pending, or unsubmitted at this point, if you filled it out but not submitted it yet. To return to the time submission page, you can just click on Home here in the top left, and it will take you back to this page. So every two weeks when you have to turn in your time, your payroll, as it were, for the week, when you come to the Surge Time page, it will come here and show you the date of the pay period. In this case, I have five days until I have to submit this by the 14th of April. Your name, your ID number, and your title will be listed here. Any leave you've requested or that the college may have in this pay period will be listed here under the leave section. There's no place to put in hours or days that you've worked for faculty because we are salaried professionals. You simply click on the verify and submit button. Your electronic signature, the date and the time are listed here. Again, your leave for this particular pay period will be listed down here, whether it's pending or has been approved. And then when you're finished, all you need to do is click Submit Now. It will come to the Time Seat Submitted page and will show you that you've submitted for this pay period. It's pending. It's not been approved yet. Again, with my leave as well. And then when you're finished, because this simply just opened in a new tab, all you need to do is just close this tab and return to your My C State page. In order to check your pay advices or when payday has come, you simply go to the My Services tab. You'll want to continue to My Services to log in. And then go to My Services for Employees. And you will see Pay Advices listed here under Employee Profile. When you click on Pay Advices, it will show you the dates for the current year. You can go back and look at previous years if you want to. And then when you click on a particular date, it will open up the detailed information 
with your salary, the deductions, the time that you, you used for leave, etc., and then whatever your net pay was deposited or sent by check. So that is how you go and check your pay advice once you've actually uh, reached one of those paydays. And so that's all I have for you today, and hope that was helpful. Thank you.